we're looking on on these plastic float drums that hold the dock up. We're looking for sea anemones. Oh look, a beautiful red anemone. Mm. Look at that thing. Oh. For dahlia, it's a kind of a flower. Mm -hmm. Actually, a grandmother used to grow dahlias. So what I'm gonna do is go down there with my thumbnail and scrape the base of it off to collect it. But I'll watch, watch as my fingers touch it. It's gonna retract like a turtle in a shell. See that? It's like going in, going in, and all those tentacles will pull right in and hide. It thinks it's being attacked by a crab or something like that. Now here, this one is a frilled anemone. I'm gonna save that one. Look how it, it retracts down. This one feeds more on um, little bits of plankton, like larval crabs, larval shrimp, larval um, clams, mussels, where the red anemone with those big tentacles catches actual shrimp and fish and things like that. So you can see now the anemones all retracted down. And actually, I'll take my jackknife to scrape it off. So my leather man. And we'll just go down in here and slowly scrape it. It's kind of like peeling an egg out of a frying pan. You're just kind of going down. Don't drop it. I won't. I have before, but I won't. And once you get it started, you can put your hand under the edge of it and just slowly peel it off. They have tremendous suction. Here it comes. Oh, that's a big one. She's coming. Here she comes. Ready? There it is. Wow. Northern red anemone. It's as slippery as a bar of soap. Wow. We're also, these little pink dots, those are baby, or very small little anemones. All retracted down. Those are the frilled. Oh, they're so awesome. Sea squirts. And, Oh, like a sea urchin. <laughs> it's all covered with the seaweed. Mm -hmm. Look, there's even a huger one right here. There's a huge frilled anemone, right? When you read a description of them, they say they often look like palm trees. Yeah. And you can see how... The other name for it is the um, plumos, like a plume, mm -hmm. uh, a feather. Now watch, I'll slowly go down and touch this guy. When I touch his tentacles, he'll retract them in. Look at it go. Shrinking, shrinking. And in it goes. So we're looking on the bottom of this dock float. Yeah, there's a bunch of blue mussels, but here's a very nice northern red anemone. I'll grab it slowly and it will retract and pull itself into its sheath. What I wanted to show you were all the sea squirts oh, look on this all. piece of kelp. I'm going to pull it up. Actually, it's a stick, like a log. Wow. Oh, look at the squirts. These are called the sea vase. Essentially, just like a filter feeder, sucking seawater in one end and out the other. And they're in the water. You can see them. Here's an individual one, just a single squirt. Well, if we squeeze it, it squirts.